Yo, what's up guys, it's Radislav here and in this video I'm gonna be taking you through one of my workouts. It's very simple and straightforward, but it is a lot more advanced than what I normally put out. So try and follow along if you can. It's four exercises, three rounds, four to seven reps per exercise, except for the handstand portion, which I will walk you through. Take as much rest as you'd like in between rounds. If you're looking for more conditioning, take less breaks, but you're focusing on good quality form and strength, and that's the utmost important thing. Now, let's get started. And the first exercise of the four exercises we're gonna do is actually gonna be one minute. The rest of the exercises are gonna be four to seven reps. You're aiming for one minute of single leg standing with the high knee raise, curling a weight and pressing it overhead. There's no need to rush, no need to count reps. You wanna go nice, slow, and steady, and control is the name of the game. See how I'm slowly pulling it down, curling it, keeping the 90 degrees, and then a quick toss gives you a little bit of challenge. This is gonna work your ankle stabilizers, your knees, your hips, your posture. It's also gonna warm up your shoulders, your rotator cuffs for the what is about to happen in these next few exercises. So give this one a try. Three sets of one minute. So you're doing one minute on one leg, then immediately switch over to the other leg, do one minute again. So you're doing curling and pressing for two minutes. I'm using a 20 pound weight here. Doesn't have to be too heavy, just have fun with it. The next exercise is a single arm rear fly off of a roller. If you don't have a roller, you can just do a single arm plank off the ground, that's fine. And I'm using an eight pound dumbbell here. The main focus is to keep my core as steady as possible. Go for a two to three second hold at the peak, trying to keep my shoulders down and back away from the ears while protracting. So my right arm is really trying to push into that foam roller and keep me from sagging down. My glutes are staying a little bit higher and I'm not trying to squeeze them. I'm trying to engage my core on the front and my rear delts on the working arm. Check out my push-up video if you want more instructions on this position. It's a very important position for any athletic purposes and you're gonna feel your core a lot with this one. Next up, we have a very athletic lunge and grace and poise and stability and control is the name of the game here. No sloppy lunging. You wanna lock in each position as you hit it. So I'm coming down, slight lean forwards. My torso isn't fully upright in the bottom position. As I come down, slight lean forwards, pulling myself up and pulling myself down. So as I come down, my toes uh, on the back leg are in line with my heel on the front leg. I'm not doing a wide stance. It's a pretty narrow stance, which you'll see in a bit. And I'm also counteracting with my arms. So as my left leg goes back, my left arm comes up and I'm in a sprinter stance. And then I switch the arms as I come into it. I recommend starting off slower than I'm demonstrating here. So once you get the pattern down, you wanna be exploding on the up as if you're driving and you're gonna take a jump or to go dunk. So you're trying to lift off that right leg in this case. And on the lowering down eccentric portion, you're trying to be as precise as you can with the pattern so that when you explode back up, you follow that same precise line. The last exercise in this series is a handstand push-up. I'm gonna show a few different variations. So just take your time with this. Pick whichever one you can to start with. I'm basically doing drop set after drop set. So the freestanding handstand push is gonna be the hardest one. You're going for one to two reps. Then you're gonna to move to the wall or you're gonna start with the wall, depending on where you are at. So I'm going from freestanding handstand, the hardest variation. Then I'm taking the balance out of it and just going pure strength with a wall handstand push-up. After this next set of, uh, after this next one on the wall handstand push-up, I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna do a floating pike push-up. I'm only going as much as I feel confident. I'm not exhausting myself on any of these reps. I'm coming up, my toes float for a second, I come back out of it. I feel like I can't do another one with as much control, so I just do two or three more regular pike push-ups that are of an easier level, just to grease the groove. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Let me know in the comments down below if you like these more advanced workouts, or if you want more regular workouts, or if you want me to do some follow along kind of videos as well. Uh, try this one out yourself. Just scale it, modify it as needed, and I hope you guys enjoy this. I'll see you in the next one.